Okay, so how do you do a simple random sample? So you can read about what um, all the particulars are with simple random sample in your book, but how do you actually do a simple random sample? So here we have one that says that I'm having a special dinner tomorrow night. I'm trying to decide what to serve as the main course, chicken, steak, or fish. I would like to make everyone happy, so I will call seven people to find out their preference. Those invited are listed below. I'm going to use line 113 of table B to tell me who I am going to call. So remember, with a simple random sample, its name states just what it is. And a simple random sample is sometimes known as an SRS. Oops, sorry, that moved. Sometimes known as an SRS. So it means the same thing as um, the acronym. So SRS, we end up having simple random sample. Don't get confused because we're going to do some other kind of random samples too that start with S. So your first step when doing these are to number your um, number your population or number your choices that you're going to take your sample from. So basically you number your population. Okay, so I'm going to number based on how many people I have. Here I have one, two, three, four, five, six people times four going across. So I have a total of 24 people. So I'm going to number them from 0, 1 to 24. You have to number them so that all of your um, possibility of choices can actually have the same chance of being picked. So if my last two digits are two digits, these ones also have to be two digits. If I had had 100 people, I could have numbered them from 001 to 100. So I would take care of the 100th person that way. I could also have labeled them as 00 to 99. You're always going to want to use the least number of digits um, possible because it will make your life a lot easier if you do. But since I have up to 24, it doesn't really matter if I do 0, 1 to 24, or I could do 0, 0 to 23, but I'm going to stick with the 0, 1 to 24. So now we go and we number our people. Now if your people are listed in alphabetical order, you can just number them going down in alphabetical order, or you can just number them however you have them listed. So I have Joe as first, so I'm going to do Joe as 0, 1, Carol as 0, 2, Betty as 0, 3, Bob is 0, 4, Ryan is 0, 5, and Lucy is 0, 6. I could have done Joe 0, 1, Dennis 0, 2, Nick 0, 3, Jason 0, 4, but I just chose to go down because I prefer to do that. So we need to finish numbering, numbering all of them. So now you'll see that all of my people have been numbered. After we've numbered them, then we need to go into our table B. And remember, table B is just a random digits of random digits table. And I have to go to whichever line number that I'm going to use. So here I've decided that I'm going to use line 113, which starts right about here. So now I'm going to have to go across, and I'm going to have to use table B going across, and I have to group my numbers together. So here is your table B, and what we're going to do is we have numbered our people from 0, 1 to 24. So we're going to go to line 113. Let me just grab the pen. Line 113 here, and we're going to go across line 113. And because our numbers are grouped as 0, 1 to 24, we're going to group our numbers from 0 um, in two digits also. So here we would have 62, and 62 does not fit from 0, 1 to 24, so we're going to have to ignore that. 56 does not work, so we ignore that. 87 does not work, so we ignore that. Then we have 0, 2. Well, 0, 2 is a number that works, so we have 0, 2. 0, 6 is another number that works, so we have 0, 6. 40 doesn't work. 32 doesn't work. 50 doesn't work. 36, 99, 71, and 0, 8 does work. You'll notice that I'm getting lucky and I'm not having to repeat any of my numbers, so that's good so far. But then I have 0, 2. Whoops, why is it doing that? Um, then I have 0, 2. When I have 0, 2 again, because I've already pulled 0, 2, I can't do it again. So I'm going to ignore the repeats and keep going. So 25 doesn't work, 53 doesn't work, 11, I haven't used 11, so I'm going to use 11. We have 48, so we have 48 again. 48, oh, why, sorry, I'm having a little bit of computer glitches. So. 
we have 48 here, doesn't work. 61 doesn't work, but then we have 17. So 17 is another one that we can use. So, so far we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we could keep going where we would have 76 as the next number. We can't use 76. We then have to go down to the next line because we ran out of numbers. So we have 45. And then the next number after 45 is 14, so we'll use 14. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers. 40, we use 14, so now 93 can't use, 29 can't use, 92 we can't use, 75 we can't use, 73 we can't. 0, 06 is a repeat, but we can't use it again. 62 not possible, 80 not possible, 0, 3 would be our last. So we have to use our th numbers that we just came up with. And we're now going to go and put those onto the um, notebook software that we have. So 0, 2, we used Carol. Carol is a choice. 0, 6 was Lucy. We had 0, 8 who was Bernie. Okay, and let's go back and get some of the other people that we had. So we had 0, 2, 0, 6, 0, 8. We have 11, 17. So we have 11. And we have 17. And then we have 14 and 3. So 14 and Betty for number three. So I'm going to call Carol, Betty, Lucy, Bernie, Melissa, Julia, and Samantha and ask them which one they would prefer for dinner. Now I should be able to use that then to determine which um, meal I should give, chicken, steak, or fish, because I could go with the majority of that and figure that's a good enough amount to estimate. So that's how you do a simple random sample. So remember you have to number them based on your um, how many people you have to choose from. You then have to go to table B and you have to group your digits as is using whatever line number the problem told you. That's why I used line 113. And then you have to go in and you have to group the numbers. Any numbers that repeat, you have to skip and just ignore them. Any numbers that you can't use because they're not part of the 0, 1 to 24 or whatever it is that you have, you ignore and you keep going until you get however many you're asked to do.